Hello and welcome to the Everything Is Black and White podcast on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, Andrew Musclefier. And I'm walking up Green Street towards the monument. It is the day after Newcastle United for PSG 1. It's fair to say though, it looks a little bit different to how it did yesterday. This is what it looked like yesterday around quarter past five. never seen anything like it never seen anything like it what an experience to walk up to st james park with the psg fans there was flares there was drums there was chants it was something that i've never seen before and you know for me it was the moment of realization that newcastle United are in the champions league and that might sound daft but i guess for those fans who were lucky enough to go to milan you had that experience out there maybe that moment of realization but for those who didn't get out and for me it was walking up to the ground, it was watching the ultras get, uh, you know, get, get into the ground. That kind of, it hit me, Newcastle United are in the Champions League. You know, you see these fans on telly, you read about them in the newspapers, the ultras. And it was just, it was something to see, it really, really was. Uh, look at the, one of the videos that we uploaded um, from yesterday, which kind of showed you the full journey up to the grounds but what a night for Newcastle United 4-1 against PSG one of the biggest sides in Europe with Kelly and Mbappe up front and a host of other big names a host of other talented names and they couldn't get the better of Eddie Howe's magpies now there's loads we could talk about but I just want to talk about one person specifically and that is Jamal Lascelles Newcastle United's captain what a return to the starting 11 for that man. Now, in the summer, we ran a poll on Chronicle Live, and I, I can't remember the exact numbers, but I think it was something like 15,000 people voted in this survey, which asked you who you would sell. And something like 90% said, get rid of Jamal LaSalle. And I came on this very channel and said, no, keep Jamal LaSalle. And to be fair, most of you disagreed with me. Some of you agreed. But I tell you what, I was right. I was right because I argue that you keep that man here unless he wants to go. You keep him here because he's a good leader. He's a capable Premier League defender when called upon. Doesn't kick up a fuss. He's prepared, it appears, to settle for limited game time to remain part of this club. But the main point was that when he's needed in that Newcastle United team, he doesn't let anyone down. He's replaced Sven Botman over the last couple of weeks and he's risen to the occasion he looks a better player now to replace Sven Bottom is one challenge it's Dorton in one way well, it's Dorton in any way but to replace him against PSG and Kylian Mbappe and Ramos and several other big hitters I mean that is a challenge that you you know many defenders would not stand up to Jamal Lascelles though put in a man of the match performance against some of the world's best players in what was what only his second third start of the season only probably his fifth start in the last year what what just what a night for him he deserves so much praise there was a great challenge later on it looked like 
Uh, the striker got the better of him and he gets a block in this. Very vital. It was one where he put it into touch. And you know, he's just he's just he's just improved under Eddie Howe. And for a man who could still do a job in most Premier League sides, especially mid 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 table Premier League sides, you know, there was talk about returning to Nottingham Forest. He's here, he's working hard, week in, week out. He's not kicking up a fuss. And like I say, when called upon, he's rising to the challenge. And he was absolutely superb against PSG. And he deserves a shout out. You could pick several players, if not nearly every man in black and white who featured last night as standing out. The whole team together was fantastic. But I just wanted to give a shout out to Jamal Lascelles. And I just wanted to say, look, that's why I said keep him. That's why I said keep him at Newcastle United. Because, hey, how much money would it cost you to get a defender like him? A leader, a capable Premier League defender, someone who's not going to kick up the fuss. It would cost you a fair whack of money. And your cast and I have got that right there with Jamal Lascelles, a leader on and off the pitch. Great example to the youngsters. He gets what Newcastle United means to the city and to the fans. And that performance last night against PSG, I mean, I hope he's watching it again today and giving himself a little pat on the back because he deserves it. He really, really does. And I think a lot of people, when Sven Botman was injured, they thought, oh, not Lascelles because, you know, some people don't rate him. But for me, He's improved. He's improved. He's improved despite limited game time, which is quite something. And that's probably credit to him, credit to the staff. But he's just a hard-working player. And I just, yeah, what a performance last night. So, like I said, man of the match for me, you could quite easily give it to him. You could, like I say, I think you give it to, to a host of players. But he kept some of the world's biggest stars quiet. And he didn't look out of place in that side. Um, and to replace Sven Botman, who was arguably one of the arguably maybe the youngest best Premier League defender and he's going to be a world superstar Sven Botman and the Cells has come in out of the cold and done a tremendous job against Burnley and then against PSG and then again hopefully against West Ham on Sunday so Jamal Lascelles fantastic against PSG deserves all the plaudits coming his way let me know what you think about Lascelles let me know what you thought about his performance let me know if he was your man in match if not who was just let me know about the game. Let me know if you saw the Ultras walking up Granger Street. What a night for Newcastle United. Beating PSG 4-1 in the Champions League. Top of their group. Man, it still feels like a dream. This has been the Everything is Black and White podcast on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. And we'll see you guys very soon.